Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to another edition of the Do Now. Here's what you got to do. You just got to get 100%, huh? Here we go. First one, 4x to the third times 3xy squared times 2xy squared is equivalent to FGHJK. Which one? Go! All right, let's see. All right, here's mine right here. So... I put the dot here because I know they're trying to confuse us, putting the X right there and confuse it with that X. So I just put a dot for multiplication or you can put like parentheses if you want, whatever. So first, coefficients, four times three times two. Four times three is 12. 12 times two is 24. There we go. So we have X to the third, X and X. So X to the third, that's X times X times X times this other x right here, times this other x right here, so that's x to the fifth. When you multiply something by itself five times, that's something to the fifth, x to the fifth, like two times two times two times two times two, that'd be two to the fifth, right? So y and y squared, so this is y squared right here, and then you have y, so that's y to the third. 24 x to the fifth, y to the third. Let's see. 4x to the 5th, y to the, oh, sorry, y to the 4th, my bad. y to the 4th. Where'd I go wrong? I didn't put the 2 right here, my bad. y to the 4th. There you go. So that's what happens. So sometimes you like you look and see that you copy the problem down wrong, so you can go back and check, and that's good. So that would be j j j j j All right, next one. What expression must the center cell of the table below contain so that the sums of each row and each column are equivalent? Ooh, combining like terms. What goes in the middle? Ready, set, go. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. So the sum of each row or column must be the same. So let's just do this first. Negative 4 times, sorry, plus 9x is 5x. 5x plus 2x, that's 7x. Do they all equal 7x? Let's see. 2x, let's do this one. 2x minus 3x is negative 1x. Negative 1x plus 8x, yeah, so it's all 7x. So, I can attack it from any way I want. Let's do it this way, I don't know. 7x minus 3x is 4x. Now I gotta get the 7x, so I need to add, uh, sorry. Need more lead in the pencil, plus 3x, so this would be 3x. Because 7x plus 3x is 10x, minus 3x is 7x. So yeah, same thing here, it should work. 9 plus 3 is 12, minus 5 is also 7. Yeah, so if you add all these up, that's equal 7. So 3x is in the middle. Cool. Hope you got that. The answer is g, -g, 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 -g. Next one. Slope intercept form of 6x minus 2y minus 4 equals 0. F, G, H, J, K. What is it? Do it. Boop. Let's see. So I know y has got to be by itself. And so I'm just going to add 2y to both sides. Let's see if that move works. Because rather than get all these over there, maybe we'll just get this over there. It'd be easier. So I have 6x minus 4. Whoop. And 2y over here. So now just divide by 2, all the terms. 6x divided by 2 is 3x. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times y is just y. Of course, you can rewrite it that way. If you did it another way, that's cool. But I just want to show you a way that may be a little bit faster, more efficient. So y equals 3x minus 2. H. Nice. Okay, this one. Tangent of B is what? Go. All right, let's see. So, Katoa. So, I need tangent. So, that's the opposite over the adjacent. So, B, this is my reference angle here. So, obviously, this is the hypotenuse. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Always label that. I draw a line to the opposite, and then here is the adjacent. So tangent is going to be the opposite over the adjacent. So it's going to be C over A. There we go. C over A. Cool. Which is J. Excellent job, everybody. J. Good job. J. J. J.